Hey, what's going on guys? How you doing? This is probably going to be my third and final character for Path of Exile for the Necropolis League. Uh, I think I finally found the one. So we've done a uh, Marauder Juggernaut uh, Bone Shatter. And then we did, what else did we do? We did a Dulius duelist a duelist champion that on chatter no that was uh shoot i can't even remember it was uh oh uh exploding arrows yep explosive arrows and now we're doing a templar hierophant and we're doing uh ice nova of frost bolts and as you can see uh we're starting off with a loincloth and you know, no pants, because for whatever reason, uh, Pee-wee decided that most armor outside of the uh, the ones you can get in the store uh, do not allow Templars to wear pants. Odd choice, I think. But that's just part of the character. So, what are we going to start off in? Well, I think for like the first probably three acts, we're using Rolling Magma. And then round four or five, we start... Uh, Doing what are we using here? We are using. Look real quick. I don't forget. Yeah, we start off with rolling magma, then into firestorm. And to be fair, uh, I used firestorm all the way through until uh, very early mapping, um, because I was trying to get farm the uh, transfigured gem, uh, ice nova frost bolts, and after about I don't know. Let's call it 10 times of doing uh, labs to get the transfigured gem. Uh, I gave up and just bought it on POE trade. Uh, probably should have done that from the beginning. Um, but eh, I figured I'd try farming and I uh, didn't have the patience for it. So I just bought it. Uh, and it's, it's a lot of fun. So this, I would have to say, uh, of the three, has been the tankiest build I've made and uh, had the most DPS. So melee, the first one, the bone shatter. Uh, we got the 86 uh, with my uh, explosive arrows. We're at 90, and this guy's currently 89. So I've never done uh, three builds in a league. I usually just do one and move on to other games, but I wanted to find something that really tickled my fancy. As much as I want melee to be a thing, I think, as I've said before, the time has passed for now for melee to be viable in this game. Oh, well, chatter's okay. Um, pretty easy build to, to get through things. Uh, I started having issues uh, with my gear and uh, dying a little more often than I'd like. And then this guy, this guy is pretty tanky. Lots of mana, lots of life. Um, and I've got decent gear currently at 89. I have just about a reasonable facsimile of what I want my end game gear to be, except for my body armor is the same stuff I've been using since act five, unfortunately, because uh, I haven't been able to craft the dragon scale armor that I want to use, and I uh, haven't got the right uh, wait, prefix prefixes and suffixes on there uh, yet to bother trying to six link, uh, let alone five link it, but what I currently have on there. Um, so what I'm currently rocking, oh, I have Stygian belts, um, so Stygian vice for the belts, but I haven't found uh, or gotten one that quite fits the bill or the specs. Obviously, I need max life, max mana, uh, and increased percentage of life. I'm not sure what I'm going to use for a socket. I'll figure that out. But as it stands right now, I have, and I'll do another video kind of showcasing all this stuff, but real quick, what we got to right now, uh, I handle, uh, 16's just fine. Uh, 
I haven't still haven't run into any 17s. Kind of haven't been playing really crazily. Just sort of getting through the campaigns and enjoying the game casually. Um, but so far, I've got a uh, yeah, I've got the, an oscillating scepter for my main weapon. Still rocking a shield. I got a spike shield. Um, I'm rocking. Uh, what am I? Oh my god, uh, my body armor is uh, a padded jacket. I'll show all this stuff. I'm just kind of generalizing right now. Um, I had what do I got for a helmet? Uh, I've got the uh, Mind Spiral Aventail helmet. Uh, I still have a heavy belt. I shouldn't change over the stitching device, but I haven't done that. I have dragon scale boots. I've got dragon scale gauntlets. I have amethyst rings. I have the Aziris foible Paula amulet. Uh, and yeah. So towards the end, I think uh, you get like a little flash of the the skill tree there. But uh, I'll do another video, probably a shorter one, uh, where. I kind of run through the whole tree a little slower so you can check that out um, and uh, go through all the gear a little bit and wrap that up and hopefully I'll be uh, level 90-ish plus by the time I'm 89 now probably won't be 90 tomorrow not playing today uh, I just want to get this video out I just didn't do a little better than uh, the random games uh, I've been trying to uh, hunt for Something else, and uh, been playing some some Souls likes games, Lord of the Fallen. What else? Uh, played Purge, Purge, Search, Search Two. Uh, tried. Uh, man, what's that? It's like Remnant with guns. It's like a space alien one. You get on a planet. Hold on a second. Oh yeah, uh, Scars Above. That's, uh, some other Souls like. It's kind of more along the lines of, uh, Remnant 2. Well, I'd say it's more like the first Remnant. Kind of, kind of lackluster. Remnant 2 is so much better than the first one. Um, but it's kind of, kind of like that. Cause that same sort of gun Souls like thing. It's alright. It kind of lost interest in the puzzle thing. And the, the ammo gathering not awesome uh, but I uh, I just there's you no know, sacrifice so if you want to watch that I think it's split up into four or five parts uh, they're fairly long uh, totally worth it kind of want to play through that because the second one's coming up looking forward to that that was a lot of fun it's kind of a you know walking simulator mixed with uh, a bit of combat and uh, the I think the cool thing about the game is one, it looks amazing, but the kind of like psychosis storyline you're going through, and like you definitely gotta wear headphones because uh, it's just uh, sort of a audio experience in a game that I've never played before. So I'm looking forward to the second one. The second one's supposed to have a lot more combat in it, so it's gonna be more lively. So I am looking forward to that. Hopefully, the video, or excuse me, my audio is not cutting out because the last time I made a video had uh noise gate cranked and then i had a bunch of ds or popper stuff on there and it kept cutting my voice in and out and i thought i was talking loud enough for it to not do that but it's super aggressive um so i shut all that stuff off and I did a test run and it seemed to fix it so hopefully that's that's not an issue as you see wrong magma kind of an annoying uh spell to be fair as it does bounce past things so it's not like accurate. This one is Firestorm. It's probably one of my favorite abilities. I think I used this when I made my <laughs> Witch Necromancer, my very first character ever in PoE, and had no idea what I was doing. So I mixed this with skeletons and, you know, scepter, or, uh, yeah, and, uh, golems and zombies and I had no idea what was going on and I put this in there just because it did like no damage because uh, obviously I didn't have 
any idea how to build up my skill trees or, you know, have any idea how crafting works at all. I got a little bit of an idea now, but uh, the more I play, the better I understand. And, uh, you know, this is definitely a game if you want to be decent at it, you need to do a bit of research to understand how things work, watch people who play, check out some build guides, get an idea how to lay things out, because uh, there's there's definitely a certain way to do things. Also, I am not playing hardcore. Like I've said it before, I don't know if I ever will. Maybe once I hit like a thousand hours, I'll try it, see how many times I fail, and uh, tell you if, it, <laughs> if I can't get through the campaign in uh in hardcore then uh you know it wasn't wasn't meant to be but we'll give it a try hopefully by then i'll have it figured out and i'll be able to make it through um a lot of times i didn't die very few times in in my uh current experience uh with this character uh died at least with this one it seems to be a recurring thing every Every char follow on character or die less and less, uh, which is which is good, right? Forward progress. That's what you want. I'm gonna learn every time you do something. Uh, but I will have to say uh, that the Templar is probably the one, probably one of the better bases uh, for classes that I've seen to build with. Uh, that and Duelist are, are pretty great. Um, ranger and which tend to be squishy. Well, I'm talking about campaign. I mean, after campaigns and mapping, you kind of got to have that stuff figured out, right? But in campaign, man, uh, yeah, those, those squishier ones are agonizing and slow to get through campaign with. These uh, more tanky characters are quite a bit easier to get through. So it's your first time ever playing the game. Certainly can't go wrong with a Templar. I think even if you screw this up and you know try to figure it out on your own, on your own, there's enough like life intelligence to, to get you through at least the campaign. You could really screw it up, I guess, but you yeah, be hard pressed to do it because this is a real simple. Like I've got a bunch of buttons in here, but I'm really only using Firestorm and Flame Dash. This is obviously uh, into Act 5. So we're going to skip it around. So we went from X1 to 5. We're going to wrap it up with 10 here. And then we're going to get a little bit into mapping. Sorry. We're going to go to the last ascendancy. The Uber ascendancy. So I didn't get that till... Oh. Oh. 80? So I think when I wanted to get it. I don't know. Maybe it'll show it. Terrible memory. One of these times I am going to write it down. I'm going to keep saying it until I make it true. That's how it happens. I will talk about something for a long time and then it'll just happen. I'll stop talking about it. I'll be about it. And guys are paying attention be like about friggin' time. Yeah, Firestorm I think is one of the coolest looking abilities. Uh, but uh, no, I saw Frostbolts. It's, uh, pretty cool, too. The, w the way that works, Ice Nova Frostbolts, you use Ice Nova of Frostbolts, uh, and Frostbolts. You use the Arcanist brand and just sort of, sort of blast away. I'm using returning projectiles. I've seen some builds without returning projectiles. And to be fair, I'm not sure it's necessary, so I'm going to try... And this is a, a basically a two button build uh, currently, but there are ways to make it a one button build. I have to use a different helmet. Um, I don't know if there's any other way. There's definitely a helmet that rocks it. Uh, if you use one uh, skill, it'll do it like 50% of the time. I'm not sure uh, which helmet is the one that looks like a skull gister helmet type of thing. I had one. Then saw someone using it, and I just you know kind of sold it and not held on to because my 
cabs are full. I didn't think I needed it, and then I got it, and uh, I was like, oh man. I could have tried it, you know, just single button builds are, are cool and all. I don't mind the two button thing. Kind of keeps it interesting. One button builds are, you know, easy and all, but it kind of seems a little boring, right? Takes a little bit of the skill out of it. The skill is building the character, I guess, instead of playing it. From perspective. Uh, but also, bonus, uh, I've built a half dozen characters at this point, and this is the first one I played and not died on this last Catava. And that made me happy. So happy. Like, and the last one, my uh, explosive arrow, I died once. And I think I died only once with Bone Shatter. Oh, one of these days. And this was it. So that was forward progress. So, my next goal, now that I have, I think, a good, finally a good base that I like playing with, that I am going to. Goal. I don't think I'm going to get to level 100. Um, if I get to 95, I'll feel good about it. So I think currently my highest level character was my uh, Lightning Arrow Ranger. I got to 91 uh, with like <coughs> negative 30 resistance all around. Tied a lot. Um, I made it to 91. I'll tell you what, it was a struggle. Getting, getting to 91 on this one is not going to be difficult so I think I can get to 95 pretty easily 100 I'm not sure I don't know if I'm gonna have the time invested to get there um, but 95 I think is definitely doable if I don't make any new characters um, but yeah this, this handles it pretty pretty handedly so the, the big ones are you know make sure you get ice nova frost bolts frost bolt arcanist brand arcanist brand arcanist Arcanist. It matters. Uh, yeah, and kind of rocking that. So what I have on there now is just to run through Ice Nova Frost Bolts with um, what I have. I've got Arc Mage, Inspiration, Spell Echo, and Intensify. I believe that's what I have on there. Frost Bolts got Returning Projectiles, Greater Volley, Canis Brand, um, we have Arcane Cloak with Arcane Surge and Increased Duration. I have Sigil Power. Uh, I don't have Clarity on here. I am using Termination with a Eternal Blessing. Uh, I do have Shield Charge. I don't use it. I am using Frost Shield. Uh, and then I have Enduring Cry Punishment. But, as you can see, that gives me my last two Ascendancies. And we're going to get Arcane Surge. Need that. More damage, more better. That's it, guys. Um, appreciate you watching. I will do another video kind of wrapping up where I am, like specifically character wise, but other than that, have a good one.